Hey Beans and welcome to a brand new Did You Know video. So I do this series every once in a while because there are so many little things hidden in Animal Jam. Uh, like this koala who somehow just got up here. What the heck? How did that happen? Alright, well, uh, okay. So I made a video a little bit ago about a few secret things hidden in Animal Jam's new Halloween update, but recently I figured out that there are even more things Animal Jam has thrown into their Halloween update. So I figured I'd show you guys all the little secrets that I figured out over the past week in the Animal Jam Halloween update. So some of these are really cool, so stay tuned till the end to learn how to get a little ghost pet. Enjoy! Here's one cool little feature about Animal Jim's new Halloween update. So in the Phantom Vortex, which is accessed through any of those little phantom portals you see all over the map, there are some really cool interactions with the floor and the game itself with the floor. So basically, if you get two people to stand on any section of the floor, it will start lighting up. And as you can see in this video, if you get two people to stand on every single section of the floor, the entire screen just starts exploding with colors and lights and various exciting party things. One thing that's really interesting about this though is that normally every year when you get to level 5 in the Phantoms game, you get a little prize. And it changes every single year and you get a brand new prize and it's very cool and exciting, but you have to reach level 5 first. However, if you have everyone light up every single section of the floor and then reach level 5, you don't get the prize like normal. This is most likely a glitch because it seems ridiculous that you could have people just like mess with someone who's playing the game and not get them the prize. So as you can see here, once you reach level 5, you don't get a prize like normal. Animal Jam, if that's on purpose, that's really interesting, and if it's not, it's something that needs to be fixed. The bottom corner of the Haunted Forest Party has a really cool feature where it gets really foggy and if you whirl around in it for a little bit it makes you fade out of the screen and make you look a little more transparent than usual. But what's really cool is if you go to Affendale and hop into the mud, it makes you look like a shadow once you get dark enough. So basically all you have is a grey outline of your animal, which I think is pretty awesome. Here is a fun little glitch. If in the best guest party you sit, it will actually just make you sit whichever way you're facing. So even if you try to sit to the right, you'll still sit to the left. Oh, I wasn't even reading the question. Awkward. And if you go on to the right X and try to sit to the left, it will still make you sit to the right. The best guest game has a lot of weird little features. I mean, your animals look totally different than they do in the normal game, and there's this weird sitting feature. Also, people get stuck running a lot. So if you're ever looking for a cool glitch to send to me, go check out the best guest game, and I'm sure you could find quite a few in here. At the Haunted Forest Party, you can click the moon in the background, and not only does a huge swarm of bats show up, you also get a little teeny tiny moon next to your animal. Similarly, if you click one of the trees, you get a little ghost icon. This is honestly one of my favorite things in Animal Jam, it's just how they throw in these fun little secrets into the game. I mean, the bats flying right out at you is actually really fun. <laughs> well, Bean Boys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about Animal Jam's new Halloween update, and as I say at the end of every one of these videos, make sure you check out everything I mentioned in this video, because some of it is more than worth spending some time to figure out. Just a reminder, I do have an email, juliantubomments at gmail.com, for those of you who find little things that you think are worthy of being in these videos. So anyways, Beans, thank Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!